everyone, my name is Iris Franz. Today we're going to continue to talk about Slavsky equation. In particular, I'm going to talk about inferior good. So last time we talked about when the price of a good changes, then the quantity demanded is going to change. Now the change in quantity demanded, we call that total effect. Now we can decompose the total effect into substitution effect and income effect. Now we know that substitution effect will always follow the law of demand. Meaning, if the price of the good goes down, then the substitution effect is going to tell you, hey, the price of good one has gone down, so good one is now relatively cheaper, and therefore you should buy more good one to replace good two. So you can see when the price of good one goes down, you buy more good one, and therefore the substitution effect will always follow the law of demand. But when you have an inferior good, then the income effect is going to go against the law of demand. Why is that? Because the price of good one goes down, now the purchasing power has gone up, so income effect is going to tell you, hey, this good is inferior. Now that your purchasing power has gone up, you should buy less. And therefore, you can see when price goes down, income effect asks you to buy less. So income effect will ask you to violate the law of demand. So what are you going to end up doing really depends on whose voice is louder. If substitution effect is louder than income effect, then you're going to end up following the law of demand. But if your income effect is louder than your substitution effect, then you're going to violate the law of demand and have a given good. So in those diagrams, we have X as our original bundle before the price of good one goes down. Then after the price of good one goes down, we end up buying bundle Z. So are we going to end up buying more good one or less good one? That depends on whether substitution effect is louder or income effect is louder. So we're going to start with our given good case. We start with our bundle X. So that's our original budget line. And between bundle X and bundle Y would be the substitution effect. And between bundle Y and bundle Z will be the income effect. You can see that substitution effect in here will follow the law of demand. Substitution effect asks you to buy more good one after the price of good one goes down. So you end up buying more good one. But here, because the income effect is so loud, because the good is so inferior, so income effect tells you, hey, you should buy less. And income effect is louder, so you go from Y1 all the way back to Z1. So you can see Z1 is less than X1, meaning when the price of good one goes down, you end up buying less. So you're violating the law of demand, and you have a given good. What about an inferior good that is not given? Well, it's the same thing. Our original bundle is X, and our final bundle is Z. Now, again, substitution effect is going to tell you to buy more of good one after the price goes down. So you move from X1 to Y1. And now here, the income effect voice is very soft, saying, hey, it's inferior good, you should buy less, in a very gentle and soft voice. So you're moving from Y1 a little bit back to Z1, but not all the way back. And therefore, you end up with point Z1, and Z1 is still more than X1. So you can see the total effect is that when the price goes down, you end up buying a little more. So we still follow the law of demand, and this is enough to good. So I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.